At this point, you should now be able to see that puzzle piece number one and puzzle piece number two have been created. And you will see that there are some additional guidelines that are still left behind uh, that may become a little bit confusing. And I'm going to show you how to delete them, as well as orient the screen so that you can make these 2D shapes into 3D shapes so that we can move on. So first, I'm going to take my eraser tool and get rid of those guidelines that are left behind because we no longer need them. They were simply just used to create the object lines that you see now. So now let's go back into the mouse pointer and we're going to just basically use the wheel to mouse and zoom out. And then we're going to use our isometric view and we have two separate pieces. So these two separate pieces are now oriented so that we can use the push pull tool and convert these into these 2D drawings into 3D drawings. So I'm going to take the push pull tool, click on it, highlight the face, that's the face right here, all those little dots mm -hmm. are indicating that this is the face that we are able to move forward, up, or down. Okay. So I'm going to click once and then I simply need to type in 0.25 in my distance or one backslash four so that you can show one fourth. That's two ways of doing the measurements or you can simply just drag it up until you see one fourth of an inch. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing here. One fourth of an inch. The shortcut, once one piece is already uh, push pulled to the desired height, a shortcut for the second piece is to simply click once on the face and then move the mouse over to the edge of the other piece so that you now have each of the puzzle pieces at the same height. So that is actually a shortcut that you can use, but you don't necessarily have to use it. You can simply, I'm going to undo, you can simply just click once, drag it up until you see a quarter inch. So those are the different ways of creating the 3D shape.